why would you use that narrow band hydrogen alpha filter on a color camera when you're essentially only using a quarter of your sensor, right? Because you're blocking all the light, you only have the hydrogen alpha line that hits the red sub pixel. The three others are not getting any data. So you're only getting that hydrogen alpha data in. Because what people do is they might shoot either unfiltered or with a very broad filter. And if they're shooting on the light pollution, they'll try to capture as much color information as they can by shooting with these wider filters or maybe unfiltered. And then after that, they might take some pictures with a hydrogen alpha filter in because that hydrogen alpha line is so strong and so powerful that by isolating it, you can shoot through a lot of that light pollution. And then you just take that hydrogen alpha data and you multiply it on top of your color data afterwards to try and basically tell the image where there is stuff and where there is no stuff. And then you can just reduce the amount of light pollution you see in your color images, even though you've been shooting relatively broad. I haven't tried this technique myself because I mostly shoot mono, but I have seen people use this on color cameras with relative success.